So what we're going to look at now is the Haber process in a bit more detail. And you need to know the two conditions in which we carry out the Haber process. So this is my manufacture of ammonia. N2 plus 3H2 gives 2NH3 with my delta H value of minus 92.4 kilojoules per mole. So the first thing that we're going to look at is the condition one. Okay, and primarily here we're concerned with temperature and with pressure. Okay, so we're going to look at this with regards to two things. Temp condition one, which is temperature, and condition two, which is pressure. If I look at the temperature, my forward reaction is exothermic. Okay, so in order to produce heat to favor my exothermic side, I need to decrease the temperature. Now, we have a big problem with this. Okay, so that will obviously decreasing my temperature equilibrium shifts to favor the side which produces heat. The side which produces heat, and you have to be able to explain this, is the right hand side. If I have the right hand side, that means more ammonia is produced. Now, that is what I want. But as I said, there is a problem with this. And the problem with this is that we already know from looking at rates of reaction that temperature and rate are directly um, affected. And if I have an increase in my temperature, I increase my rate. But if I decrease my temperature, I'm obviously going to decrease my rate. So if my temperature is too low, so I can't have it really low, because if I have it really low, my rate of reaction is too slow. Okay? So if the temperature is too low, the rate is too slow. Okay? So I cannot have an extremely low temperature. So what they actually decide on is 500 degrees Celsius. And you need to know that value. And you need to know the reason why, so that it favors the side which produces heat. I need to decrease the temperature. But if my temperature is too low, the rate is, so, is too slow. So I have to have a compromise. Okay, that's fine. So. In general, my condition that I want is temperature low, okay? Condition two then is my pressure. So if I increase my pressure, if I look here, I have one and three, so I have four molecules on my left-hand side and I have only two molecules on my right-hand side. Remember, this is all a gaseous reaction, so it is affected by chemical equilibrium. So if I look at this, I want to favor the right hand side. So an increase in pressure favors the side with fewer molecules. The side with the fewer molecules is the right hand side. So equilibrium shifts, right? Okay, and that is what I want. So I'm happy with that because more ammonia is going to be produced, okay? However, this also has a, a bit of a problem, okay? Because in practice, very high pressures are expensive, firstly, to build and to maintain. So again, the pressure I'm looking for here is high, but again, as a compromise, I have 200 atmospheres. What do you need to know? You need to know the ideal conditions, temperature low, pressure high. You need to know the reason why we want the temperature low and why we want the pressure high, and then why in practice we don't have the temperature too uh, low, and we don't have the pressure too high. And finally, the compromise in temperature and the compromise in pressure.